so I made this. Hello, my fellow Trinets. It is I, the gremlin child herself, Trina. And I'm here today to bless you all with this lovely math comic I made. This isn't your typical math book where it teaches you the concepts of math. No, no. I was smarter than that. This is a Yaoi Dungeon math comic. You heard that right. I made a BL, Yaoi, whatever you like to call it, comic for... A math class. We're gonna unpack this whole thing because there's a lot to unpack here. And we're just gonna throw the suitcase out because this is a train wreck. This was for my Algebra 1 class and at the time my teacher assigned this final project where we had to pick a math concept and we had to teach the class in a creative way and she gave us all these suggestions and one of them was a storybook and my little peanut brain thought to make a whole Yaoi Dojin comic out of it and present it to my class. I planned out the story, like what was the conflict. I made a legit story. You're gonna see this whole train wreck of a love story and also teaching you math at the same time. Let's take a second to just look at the quality of the book now because it's seen better days, but I found this under my bed. Like, what is this? That's like... I don't know what that is. And there's like random other stains or scratches. I don't know what that is, but you could obviously tell I took care of this. I like shoved this under my bed and never never saw the light of day until recently. So that's fun. Before we read the story, let's just talk about the two characters because these are obviously the main characters of this love story. This one right here is GCF and this one here is LCD and the names is the only thing I know. I don't remember how <laughs> what these have to do anything with algebra to be honest. I just remember the concept. Yeah, please don't roast me if I don't know how these two concepts work. But in theory, my ninth grade self should be teaching me how these two concepts work and if I fail at that then that's just gonna be really sad. But here is GCF, this one's LCD and well they're two anime boys, and it's like the personification of math concepts, which totally makes sense now. It really doesn't make any sense. Who are their parents? Was greatest common factor, like was his parents also the same concept and they're passing down their concepts? How does it work? Why are they human? Do they just teach people? And really looking at this now, this whole math universe doesn't make any sense because every math concept is like an anime boy or girl. And just take a look at this cover now because this is the only quality you're gonna see. Once we open up this book, the quality takes a really big nosedive, so be prepared for that. And of Upon opening it up first, you're greeted with this page and I remember at the time when I drew this comic, I was stupid and I didn't know how to properly format it so when my mom read it, she told me she had no idea where to read or where to start so I ended up putting terrible numbers on each panel so you knew where to read and I have this whole disclaimer or whatever you like to call it saying like, hey, this is how you read it because I'm a dumbass and I didn't know how to format properly so that's really fun and you could see the art quality is not that good. Like, compare that to the cover. It's not that great. So I'm just gonna try to read this whole comic in one go and if I pause at any point I apologize because I'm just cringing and dying inside but I'm gonna try and I hope my grammar in this book is okay. It's probably not because back then in ninth grade my grammar was just atrocious so Apologize for any spelling errors, all that junk, so let's just read this. Chapter 1. The new student, the jealous student. Aw oh man, I'm late for school. Bye, mom. I can't believe that perimeter and area didn't wait up for me. They're so helpless. Oh, they're so heartless. We're, out of, we're off to a great start, y'all. Oh man, it's 7 o'clock already? I have to hurry before I get in trouble again. I'll cut the corner here. What the? Whoa! Man, that was an awful fall. What did I land on? Huh? Whoa, what the? <laughs> Whoa, what the? I'm so sorry I bumped into you. Please forgive me. Um, are you okay? That was a nasty fall you took right now. Yank! <laughs> Yank! Whoa! Don't scatter your brains out there. Be careful around the corner, okay? Look at that, like, shoujo as sparkles. Wow, I was really building up a romance. Okay. See ya. Who was that guy? Ack! I still need to make it to school. Class 9-3. Oh yeah, because they're in ninth grade. Hey, why didn't you guys wait up for me? Oh wow, I, I really messed up on this. I really messed up on this formatting. Okay, we're gonna try to read this. I came here early because I had duty today. I thought Perimeter was with you. It was your fault for being slow, idiot. What did you say? Stupid, stupid. Why you come over here, Perimeter? Another peaceful day. Wow, this is 
Excellent writing. Um, excuse me, is this class 9-3? Huh? Yeah. And he, what, what panel? This is the terrible panel. Hey, I remember you. Hey, I've seen you before. Oh my god. Look, <laughs> the text buffer looks terrible here. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. All right. Where am I? Oh my god. See, this is where I, what I mean by the numbering is just terrible. Okay. You're that guy I ran into this morning. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks for helping me. What really happened? No problem, what's your name any- Hey there cutie, my name is Perimeter, nice to meet you. Are you single? Because I'm single, my cell is- yeah! Oh, and he gets just- he, he gets thrown out, dang. Yeah, new kid! Oh, I don't like that I said that. I feel uncomfortable. Out? Dude, are you okay? I hate that guy so much. <laughs> What is this writing? I hate that guy so much. Whoa. What makes that guy so special anyway? I'm GCO. <laughs> I just realized this is where we finally know his name because in the last couple of pages, we didn't, we don't know his name. I'm GCF, the greatest common factor. <sighs> okay. I need to know who this guy is. Do you want to go out sometime? Who does he who think he, he is? is? Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect, I guess. I guess. Oh god, that, this is, where am I? <laughs> this is, oh no. <laughs> All right, we're getting through this. Why are you guys gawking over him anyway? We don't know this guy at all. Oh, this is, this is getting emotional. We can't even trust him until we know he, who he is. Who are you and what is your name? Yeah, who are you? Can you tell us more about you, cutie? Yeah, tell us. Um, how should I start this out? My name is LCD, which stands for Least Common Denominator. Oh my god, this is where I'm trying to define it and I used like the smallest text. I can't read that. Okay, I find the smallest number that can be used for all denominators of two or more more numbers. Wow, can you show us an example? Because I had to show how to do stuff. <laughs> okay, this is where my ninth grade self should be teaching us how LCD works. And if this doesn't work out, then I don't know what to tell y'all. Oh my god, where am I? All right, here is an example. What is the LCD of 3 fourths, 11 over 30, and 7 over 4? What's the answer? Yeah, what is the answer? The answer would be 180. Wait, how did that get Wait, how did we get there? How did we get 180 as my answer? Well, factor each denominator into prime numbers. The greatest power of 2 is 2 over 2. I apologize if I don't know how to read any of these like prime number stuff. Greatest power of 3 is 3 over 2. Then greatest power of 5 is 5? What? Yeah, okay, I remember. We got this, I think. I don't know. <laughs> then you multiply all of those numbers together, you get 180. I hope that helps you. That did not help me whatsoever. I don't understand this. Okay, maybe those that are in algebra, tell me if I even got this math right. I probably didn't. I I remember in the other copy, I think I got like a couple of points deducted because my math was off. So I did such a great job on this. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. I have no idea what he just talked about. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, LCD, you're so awesome. You're welcome to this class. Thank you guys so much for accepting me into the class. Wow, it just only took one cute guy to teach you a math and you're accepted. That's how you become popular. Oh, more drama. Hey, I never got to know your name. Just shut up. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Oh, crap. Are you trying to mock me with all your popularity? What? No, I was just trying. I just want to to do what humiliate me. I don't even like you, LCD. You're you may be popular, but you're an idiot. Wait, wait. I just just leave me alone, LCD. I don't want anything to do with you. Have a nice day. Oh, he kicked them in the nuts. Oh, I don't know what what this drama is. I don't know what I was thinking. This is this doesn't make any sense. Oh no, not again. Uh, don't worry. I'll talk to him. You know what? He's a champ. He may have gotten his nuts kicked, and he probably might not be able to reproduce. But you know what? He's a champ. He's willing to talk to the guy that just kicked him. I'm proud of you, LCD. I just think he's troubled by something. Oh, that anatomy though. Sniff, sniff. Those guys are big idiots. This is a real Cinderella right here. Wow, I guess I was writing Cinderas. I'm GCF, they should all appreciate me. What's the use? I'm no better. It seems like it was all just yesterday. Oh, okay, I guess we're going to a flashback. All right. Okay, class, quiet now. I have an announcement. We have a new student today and his name is GCF. Please respect him. Hi, everyone. Oh my God, he looks like a goth? What? 
is that outfit? Boy! Oh my god, we're like halfway through, I think. All right, thank god. Who are you anyways? Nice to meet you all. I hope we can get a- Oh, oh wow. That text is small. We're gonna- Okay, let's see if I- could see that. I could hardly read that even. Oh, I can't like you until I know what you do. What? Well, I find the greatest factor and- Ugh, Teach, do we have to listen to this guy? I don't want to listen to this idiot. It's our free day today. I don't want to waste it on this loser. Oh my god. Why is everyone such a- Oh, actually, you know what? That's not- that's not far off from high school in general. People were dicks in high school. Oh my god, this text gets smaller and I could hardly read it. This text is so distorted. I can't even read that part, but I think, to what I can tell, it's just like random gossip talks. So I can't read that. Girls, quiet down. Edition, you have detention. Oh man, this is getting real sad. Look at that. He is crying. Oh man, this guy is a crybaby. Sniff, sniff. GCF, where are you? GCF, are you here? Open. Oh, what? Whoa, I didn't realize that you were crying. I just need to jerk. What did he throw at him? What, did, what is that? Smack. Oh, it's just fractions. Hey, I know the LCD to this. Shut up. I told you to leave me alone. How do you know my name? Perimeter told me your name after you left and told me that you needed to blow off some steam. Oh, what the fuck is she saying there? No need to worry. This happened before. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's what she said. And she told me the reason why you were so angry. I understand why you would be angry, but I just want to talk it out with you. You jerk. Whack. How many stuff is this guy going to throw at him? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, this is... where am I? Okay, we're gonna just read this as much as we can. All right. Why do you keep on hit- Okay, I'm sorry the way I've been acting. I'm sorry for kicking you in the crotch. I'm sorry for calling you an idiot. I'm sorry for everything that I've caused you physical, emotional pain. We might be the same, but you're better than me. You're better than me in person and math itself. I know that you are the best and I'm just a joke. Everyone was right. You're the best and I'm sorry for what I did, but you are just better than me. Oh my- You know, that could have easily just been worded so differently. I don't know what I- I thought this was probably the most pivotal moment of this comic. What, what did, I did I just say? say? I'm not better than you, GCF. I'm not mad at you. No way, you really are better than me. GCF, we do have some things in common and we have some differences. We both find numbers, but I find the least common denominator and you find the greatest common factor. <laughs> and people find my method the easiest. That doesn't make me feel any better. That really wouldn't make you feel any better. Sorry, but I don't know much about you, GCF. Can you at least show me an example of how your method works? I'm such a great writer, guys. Like, where's my award for this quality textbook. Would you really listen to how the GCF works? Yeah, I'd like to see some examples. Okay, let me look for an example in my notebook. Uh, okay, I found one. Hopefully this math will teach us. I mean, from the last example that we have seen, it did not teach me anything, so. Example, find the GCF of 882 and 945. Oh god, this is where you see my chicken scratch. Find the prime factorization of each integer? Then form the product of the smaller powers of each common prime factor. Oh my god, I don't- I don't understand this. Oh no, okay. The common prime factors are 3 and 2. The smaller powers of 3 and 7 are 3 over 2 and 7. The GCF of 882 and 945 is 63. And that's how you find the GCF in 882 and 9... 45. I almost forgot the numbers already because the text is so small. I don't understand any of that. Oh, but not gonna lie, that that's a cute image of GCF. That's so cool, but what if you want to find the variables in the numbers? How would you find the GCF then? You're a guy with many questions, aren't you? Here, let me look for another example that involves variables. Let's see. Uh, oh, I found one. I think this is a good example here. Find the GCF of, oh my god, I don't... <laughs> 72x to the power- Oh! It's to the power! Okay, I remember how to read these now. 72x to the power of 3, yz to the power of 3, and 120x to the power of 2, and z to the power of 5. I remember how to read this now! Oh my god, okay. Find the GCF of the numerical coefficients- Okay, now this is where I don't know anything. 72 is 2 to the power of 3, and 3 of the power of 2. And 120 is 2 to the power of 3 times 3 times 5. The GCF of 72 and 1 120 is 2 to the power of 3 times 3 is equal to 8 and times 5, 3, 
Where am I? I guess it's 24. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I understood that. Find a small power of each variable that is a factor of both mo- Oh my god, mominals? I don't know what that means. X is X of the power of 2. Y isn't a common factor. Smaller power of Z is Z to the 2. Okay, I'm really lost. I don't know what's- I really don't know what's going on. Find the product of the GC of the numerical coefficient and then the smaller power of each variable that is a small- <laughs> that is a factor of both mo- Mominals. So 24 times x to the power of 2 times z to the power of 3. The GCF of 72, x to the power of 3, y, and z to the power of 3, and 120, x to the power of 2, and z to the power of 5 is 24x of the power of 2 and z to the power of 5. I don't know if I learned anything for GCF there. I'm still very much confused. Leave a comment down below if this is how you do GCF. If not, teach me. Wow, GCF, that was a cool example you showed. Don't lie, you little... Thanks, but can you show me an example of the denominator has an equation in it? Oh my god, this is so much math. I don't like this. All right, here's an example that I can show you. Find- oh my god. <laughs> This is too much math for my little peanut brain. Find the LCD of 3 over 6x minus 30 and 8 over 9x minus 45. Factor each denominator completely. Factor integers into prime. Okay, so 6x minus 30 is, oh, okay. I think I remember this. So it'd be 6 parentheses x minus 5, which is equal to 2 times 3 times x minus 5. 9x minus 45, which will be 9 times x minus 5, then 3 to the power of 2 times x minus is five okay oh thank god there's a arrow form the product of the greatest power of each factor two times three to the power of two times x minus five or 18 times x minus five the lcd is 18 times x minus five um what is up with the sparkle it's just to fill in the blank spots those sparkles look terrible what is ill and i thought that looked cute <laughs> I really thought that looked cute. That was a pretty good example. Thanks, I found it in my notes. But what if the denominator has a polynomial? I don't know what that means. Good question, Gcia. I have an example right in front of me. This book is so... I'm falling asleep. Example, 9 over x to the power of 2 minus 8x plus 16 and 5 over x to the power of 2, 7x plus 12. Step 1, find the LCD of the fractions. x to the power of 2 minus 8x plus 16 is equal to x minus 4 of the power of 2. x to the power of 2 minus 7x plus 12 is x minus 3 times x minus 4. The LCD is x minus 3 times x minus 4 to the power of 2. Then rewrite each fraction using the LCD. Oh my god, <laughs> my brain cells is just dying at the moment. I don't, I'm exerting too much energy here to even figure out what's going on. The LCD here will be 5 times x minus 4 over x minus 3 times x minus 4 to the power power of two. Oh my god, we're on the last pages. My brain is already fried. GCF, I'm glad that you are one of the people that appreciate my works. It means a lot to me. Dude, he's trying to get that dick. Thanks, LCD. That really means a lot to me also. It's a nice day today. Yeah, it's a nice day and the clouds are out also. Days like this, I would love to sleep and relax at home. See, we are different from each other. No need to worry of who's better, GCF. What? Well, you are better than me when it comes to who's the easiest, but you're, uh, where are you getting up. Yeah. Don't worry how you are, GCF. Not everyone is made the same. You are awesome for who you are. Remember that when you get angry. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm bringing back the romance aspect. They were like fighting, but okay. Thanks, that means a lot. No problem. Uh, I think we should get back to class. Hey, I just realized something. I'm taller than you. Shut up, don't get me in a bad attitude again. <laughs> And they don't kiss. Oh, I'm a little disappointed in myself that I didn't make them kiss. Extra comic. Differential calculus. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna like this already. All right, we have a new student today and his name is D-I-F, D-I-F. Uh, new guy, introduce yourself. Oh, this guy looks like a fuck boy. My name is Differential Calculus and I'm the part of the calculus that deals with the variations with respect it to change. God, this definition is so boring. With variations with respect to changes in the independent variable or variables by means of the concepts derivative and differential. Now, this is also called the method of, oh my god, I don't even know what that is. Functions? I'm a lot more advanced than all of Eh? You bore me. You're an idiot for thinking you're better than us. Gah! KO! Wham! GCF, why did you do that? I thought your therapist told you to control your anger. He was too cocky for thinking he's the best. And I got bored. To be fair, I got bored 
reading that too. I don't know where I am. I guess nobody really likes me. <laughs> oh, I have a postscript right here. Hello, thank you for looking at my ma my manga. This is really a manga. This is my first manga I've ever completed. I'm so happy that I accomplished this. I'm not selling my manga for your buddy. If you're interested in buying this, you could email me at me. <laughs> thank you for reading this. <laughs> and that's the end. That was terrible. I really don't know where to start when it comes to unpacking all of this because that was a train wreck of a story. Let's start off with talking about the art. Uh, the art was terrible. It was just everything was terrible. I personally like the cover because I put more attempt into it and I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be the designs of the characters. But then when you look through the whole book, it's just terrible. Like, what is that? I have tried to make a comic. I think I was trying to make this more like a manga, but it just looks like a mess. And there's some scenes that everything looks okay. Like, I think that looks, that drawing looks okay. And then there's other scenes where I'm wondering, ugh, what happened? Art quality goes really downhill. Like, what is that? When did GCF become a yaoi character? Like, look at that chin. That's, that's a very sharp chin. And those eyes. Why are they tiny? Yeah, art quality here, not very great. Everything looks terrible. Backgrounds, characters, everything. How about we talk about the characters themselves because they don't really have much of any qualities, to be honest. GCF is Sundere. That's as much as I could say, to be honest. And he has anger issues, I guess. LCD is that pretty boy who is nice and is understanding, I guess. And he's very humble. And then we have the minor characters. We have Perimeter and Area. Area has glasses. Perimeter looks like a recolor of Penny from Penny and Stocking. And she got big tits. Look, look at that. Wow, she got pointy boobs. My character design was totally on point here, and overall other background characters are just half tones, not a lot going on to be honest. This is the only time where you get to see the teacher, and she doesn't even look that great. I think I gave up. That art quality, I just completely gave up. I was trying to finish this. I was like, you know what? This is as good as it's gonna get. And that's the characters. Now the question is, did this comic teach you math? In a way, it kind of did. There was parts in the book where they talked about polynomials or mononomials, whatever, whatever that's called. But the problem is I don't even know what that is now. I probably should have written this in a way as if somebody who doesn't know algebra. I unfortunately wrote this in a way for my algebra teacher. I should have written this in a way where I'm teaching somebody who no doesn't know anything of algebra. And obviously I don't remember algebra because it's been so long and I think that book doesn't really help. I think this book's mostly for if you're already in algebra and it's like, hey, here, here you go. Here's some examples with anime characters in it. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't do such a good job. Now thinking about it, there's three copies of these. One copy is obviously for myself. The other copy went to some other math teacher. I think he used it for his example when he was assigning the project, while my teacher had the other copy to grade, obviously. And I remember she was really happy that I put in a lot of effort. And you know what, for ninth grade me, this is a lot of effort. It's not good effort, but it's definitely a lot of effort that was put into this. And I remember being super proud of this back when I was in ninth grade. Obviously now looking at it as an adult, it looks like utter trash. But for the most part, I think for an attempt at my first comic, it could have been worse. I'm really disappointed that there's not a lot of kissing in this book, but you know, I think at the time, a lot of kids weren't really into the whole just gays in general. So if I was to have two boys kissing, they would have been like, ew, Katrina, why do you have that? But yeah, no, these two were, there was definitely something going on between these two. Funny enough, I remember one of my friends in high school was mentioning to me that she was in another math class and when they were assigned this project, the teacher showed them this book and according to her, a lot of people were wondering, why did I go the extra mile to do this? And honestly, I was so extra back in school. Every time there was a project, I would just, go all the way with it, even if it was unnecessary. And this was, this was completely unnecessary. I didn't have to write this whole random backstory of how GCF and LCD met. I could have easily just skipped to the part where they're teaching us math. I could have done that, but for some reason, I thought it would have been a splendid idea to make a whole story and to make it more fun. It was not very fun to read reading it now, considering I don't know what's going on. Reading this comic really gave me nostalgia, especially for freshman year of high school. I remember I was trying to get more serious with art and I want to try more comic book making. And while this was kind of a minor success, kinda, I'm still proud of my ninth grade self. But you know what we should do? We should redraw these two.